What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Allie. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. As you can see from the title, I'm back with another vintage and thrift haul and try on. So I'm going to show you all the cute things I've recently picked up. If you're new to my channel, I'm very big on secondhand and kind of more sustainable fashion. So without further ado, let's jump on in. We are going to start off with this outfit that I'm actually wearing right now. The whole thing is thrifted, including my bracelet. <laughs> so this top is this adorable vintage Corvette tee. I actually just have it tied up. I've been wearing it a lot like that recently just to give it more of a baby tee cropped fit. And I bought the most adorable kind of like business inspired skirt. It's got pinstripes on it and the cutest little slit that I think is just like a little sexy. It's really cute. I thought the juxtaposition with the more casual top and the more formal skirt was cute. And then I actually recently got these boots, I would say back in the spring maybe, but I thought the whole look together is so cute. And then you could even pair it with a hat, you could do a coat or a blazer or something like that if it's cooler where you are. And then I also did get this super cute Tommy Hilfiger little shoulder bag that I think would be such a cute little whole look. It's almost giving me, I don't know why, but like Parisian vibes, but anyways, you can do it like this. You can wear the top with so many different things, jeans, um, more like trousers. You could do the skirt with a more little vest or something like that. So many different outfits that you could do but this is the first few pieces I wanted to share. Okay, next up is this beautiful bright red, it's like a cherry red skirt. Y'all, I found this the same day I got the other skirts that I'm gonna show you in this video. I don't know what my, what was going on, but I looked out and got a couple cute little mini skirts, actually three that have the little slits in them. And I just think it is the most adorable little thing. I've been wearing them on my walks after work to walk the dog. And it kind of gives more of like a tennis skirt vibe when I put my sneakers on. But I thought I'd keep the uh, the Corvette tee on just because the red Corvette ties into the skirt. And I thought the boots were really cute. You could do like a really cute little uh, kitten heel. You could do a pointed heel. You could do sneakers. I've worn it with flip flops, super casual, and all those looks are so freaking cute. But I just thought this was so fun, and as you can tell, I don't typically buy bright red clothes. I used to love it, but it's not so much my thing anymore. I'm more into neutrals. But I just thought this was so fun with a tan or, I don't know, something festive. So let me know what you think. So this next look, I personally love. I know it may not be for everybody, and that's okay. So I actually, uh, I thrifted this really cute little fitted waistcoat vest months ago and I thought it would look really cute with this skirt. So this skirt I also thrifted, it's got these cute little sexy slits on either side as well and it's more of like a slit material. I think it may be intended to be a slit skirt, but honestly I thought it was so cute and slinky and kind of sexy and I like that it is a little bit longer on me just to give a little bit more coverage but it's so thin and light and it kind of just gives like it offsets the length for me and I thought it would be really cute paired with a pair of little sling backs just to elongate the legs a little bit more just because it does get closer to my knee and I am five foot so any length on the legs <laughs> helps me out so much but, let's see, I also, you guys, look at this bag that I thrifted literally yesterday. It is so funky, it's by Mikowski. It's got this like leather or zebra leopard vibe with the metal hardware. I think it's so funky and fun. I think it adds the perfect little something because this outfit is pretty neutral, pretty safe, pretty quiet and feeling. And I thought this bag was the perfect thing to kind of give it that little 
extra like personal style that I love. So yeah, I thought this is so cute. It kind of, the skirt gives me more kind of like Carrie Bradshaw vibes, just like with her naked dress that she wears, if you know, you know. But this is kind of the vibe it gives me, so yeah, I love it. And it's so freaking soft. So cute. I feel like this would be cute for a date, to go to work, anything like that. Okay, the next piece I've got is this beautiful ivory colored slip dress. Now it's super short. <laughs> So I gotta be careful when I'm wearing it, but it has these little, uh, almost like slits in the side that kind of gives it a little bit more texture and it's not like super slim fit to my body or anything like that. So it has a little bit more room, but I thought it was really pretty, really sexy. Kind of gives me, um, it reminded me of Carrie Bradshaw's like naked dress. Not exactly it, if you know what I'm talking about, but that's just kind of the vibe it gave me. and it's. Just super simple and sheer, and I love that. It's like, I love a simple, low maintenance look to a tee. I love that I don't have to worry about anything. And then I slipped on the little slingbacks I already have on. And y'all, if I was to wear this on a date night. Okay, let me show you this coat first. How beautiful is this? It is the most beautiful vintage, like the perfect chocolate cocoa brown. I thought this looks so elegant with the dress. And of course you could also do boots. You could put a sweater over the dress. Fork in me, I'm done. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm trying so hard to get through these looks as quickly as I can because I'm losing my daylight. And where I live, I have very limited light, natural light that comes into the room. So I'm doing my best. So the lighting is changing throughout this video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this next one, I decided to keep with the more ivory satin vibes. I found these beautiful, beautiful more like wide leg trousers that are from Express, I believe. I had them hemmed because they were <laughs> very long on me, but they're so buttery soft. And I feel like for, if you work somewhere in an office or maybe, you know, holiday season, these would be so beautiful. I paired it with that same white vest that I thought would just look really clean, really crisp. Um, you could also do a blazer and you could do a sweater. You could do a beautiful tank top with it. Of course, that whatever your vibe is, everything would go with these pants. They're just so luxe and I had to include them in this video. I'm not one to normally wear wide leg trousers like this just because I am pretty petite and so I don't like to 
feel like I'm getting, you know, swallowed in fabric. I could not say no to these. I thought they were so beautiful when I saw them on the rack. So thought I would show you these as well. Okay. I did not expect to like this look as much as I do now that it's on. It's kind of giving like an English grandpa <laughs> a little bit. Maybe it's because of the little buttons on this. Okay. This is the top I was going to show you. So this is a vintage men's knit vest. I got it at my favorite vintage shop here in Franklin. It's called The Find. They have such good things. If you're in Franklin and you love vintage shopping, please go check them out because they have such good stuff for really affordable prices as far as vintage shopping goes. But look at how stunning. It's this beautiful maroon color and it has these beautiful little brass buttons that I am so here for. I actually also vintage, <laughs> I also thrifted this beautiful necklace. How interesting is that? It's so different. I've never seen anything like it. And I thought with the plunging neckline, it complemented it so well. And it, it kind of gives me bolo tie vibes for some reason. And then this is the bracelet that I thrifted. It's just this cute little twisted silver chain bracelet and it fit my, bra my, my bracelet. It fit my wrist perfect. So I was like, three bucks, twist my arm, I'll buy it. <laughs> But I paired it with these really cute pinstripe jeans that I've shown in a previous video that I got from Zara back in, I don't know, January when I went to Vegas. And I kept the sling back heels on just because I thought it gave it more of like a professional vibe. It gives me some length. And I loved the colors of the blue and the red together. I don't know why. I just, it just makes me feel good. I don't know. <laughs> but I did leave it open. I know if you work in more of an office setting like I do, that's a no-no, but if you're wearing somewhere, wearing it somewhere where it's more fashion forward or stuff like this where you can show a little bit of skin is acceptable, how do you do it? Because I think that makes it look so much more modern and cool. So anyways, teach their own. But how cute would it be to pair with my little like page boy, um, I don't know, this gives me like train conductor vibes as well. I don't know, but it's feeling very Peaky Blinders to me so far. So I think to offset the old school, like smoking grandpa from England vibes, I'm gonna throw in the chunky, funky bag that I just picked up. Cause I just think everything goes together when it's completely different. Like this is just a random thing to throw in with a bu with the whole bunch. Cause this all kind of goes and this does not. And I love that. I think that makes it so cool and so much more personal to your style. So what do you think? I think this is so fun. I would totally wear this. Go to a coffee shop on a date. I'd wear this to work. Honestly, I could probably wear this to work tomorrow. I would just have to button it up, but so cute, right? What do you guys think? Is this your cup of tea? Are you kind of like, no? This also gives me Ralph, La <laughs> Ralph Lauren vibes. <laughs> if you haven't seen the last uh, vintage shop with me, thrift with me video I uploaded a few months ago, someone left me a lovely comment and said that I said Ralph Lauren completely wrong, so it's hard to take advice from me, and I was like, I'm sorry about that was so off-putting for you, but Ralph Lauren, for those of you that really care how things get enunciated, it kind of reminds me of his vibe, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, this top. I would never, or at least normally, pick something out like this for myself. I don't know, the ruffles, ruffles are not really my thing. I'm not someone that I think even hardly owns anything with ruffles. I don't know why, it's just I'm not a ruffle girl. But I saw this and I was like, how adorable is that? It's giving me like bridal, it's giving me sweet, adorable. I just think it's so fun. I could wear this to like a party. Not that I really even go anywhere, honestly. Like I don't know where I'd wear any of this stuff because I'm usually at home with my husband and my dog. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cute. Fun, 
funky. I think with this kind of top, I'd probably wear my hair up. Maybe. I don't know, but again, trusty old hat that seems to go with everything in this video, right? Cute, right? <laughs> Do old Tommy, old Tommy boy, for this one. So fun! Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is cute. It's like fun, flirty, girly, adorable. What do you think? I would. I probably wear something like this on a date or to go to drinks with some girlfriends or something. I think this would also be very adorable with shorts. Um, I could see it with like maybe, oh, like with a long maxi skirt that was not crazy flowy, like more fitted. I think it would be really stunning and beautiful. I think this would be cute as a beach cover up. Yeah. I'm into it. <laughs> All right, kids, last but not least is this Gorgina sweater. I mean, I saw this thing on the rack and I immediately had to try it on. Look at these. It just had, it's like so soft and cozy. It feels like I'm wearing a blanket. It has this beautiful, super thick turtleneck that is actually pretty kind of like stable. Like it stays up. It doesn't just like flop down, you know? which I'm obsessed with. I'm someone that loves to have your hair like tucked in. I just didn't do that for the sake of the video because I think that looks so chic. But it has these perfect bell sleeves. So it's not tight. It's like the perfect oversized. I just kept the jeans on and tucked it in in the front just so you, can, you guys can just see it with a pair of jeans. But I absolutely love this with jeans, with trousers, with a skirt, over a dress, with like a maxi, like a slinky maxi skirt and some heels. That would be so cute with like your hair slicked back in a bun with some dangly earrings. Like I, that's such a cute date night fit, but I thought this was perfect since it is starting to get cooler, you know, mid September here in Tennessee, but I, thought this was such a beautiful find and some of my favorite sweaters that I get the most compliments on I actually find at the thrift and they're such high quality usually like something like this looks like it was made by like Zara or the Row or something like that and I absolutely love it and it's gonna be so cozy for the winter time when I bought it it was still it's still pretty warm here it's just starting to cool off but I knew if I didn't get these pieces like I would want them in the fall and winter so anyways that is it for this video i think all right my loves i am rapidly running out of sunlight so <laughs> that is the end for this video i hope you liked it let me know in the comments down below what you liked what you didn't any and all feedback i love hearing from you trust me <laughs> but i'd love to hear if you have the same style if you love vintage and thrift shopping shopping just like i do tune in for the next video keep an eye out for that one that will be a transitioning outfits from like summer to fall winter so if you need any tips and tricks on that stay tuned for that video i love you thank you so much for watching it really means so much to me i will see you guys in the next video have a good one